It is hard to imagine a world without email or cell phones to communicate, or a world without laptop computers, high-definition TV, or GPS to help us find our way home. Technology is improving virtually all aspects of our lives, from the field of medicine to the way we pay our bills and manage our finances. It is also profoundly changing the way we learn and access information. In schools across America, technology is being successfully integrated into classrooms as a primary means to introduce academic content and increase the understanding of complex concepts and theories. Teachers are exploring multiple instructional pathways using interactive whiteboards, video streaming, and innovative software programs to reach an ever-increasing diverse student population. For students with disabilities, technology can make the difference between success and failure in general education environments. The goal is to provide the necessary supports to enable students with special needs to successfully learn in spite of their learning or processing deficits. But what is assistive technology? In its most simple form, assistive technology, commonly referred to as AT, is the use of devices and supports, as well as the services related to those supports, which help to increase the functional capabilities for students with a disability. AT services include the evaluation of student needs, the selection and acquisition of an assistive technology device, as well as the coordination and implementation of these devices in the school and at home. Dr. Brian Friedlander, a respected authority in the field of assistive technology, will take us into classrooms where students and teachers are being more successful based on their use of AT. Through his experienced lens of school psychologist and professor, editor of Inclusion Times, which focuses on assistive technology, and co-author of books such as Engaging the Resistant Child Through the Use of Computers, Dr. Friedlander will explore the exciting and effective ways in which barriers to learning can be removed and access to the general education curriculum increased. It is critically important to recognize that the use of all assistive technology devices adheres to the theory of Universal Design for Learning, UDL, which allows teachers to craft their classroom instruction by taking into account multiple means of representation by providing options for acquiring information and knowledge. Multiple means of expression. By providing alternatives for students to demonstrate what they know. And multiple means of engagement. By providing ways to increase motivation and interest in learning. The second paragraph, the whole class is going to write together. And then you're going to put it on the AlphaSmart by yourself. The third paragraph, you're going to do all by yourself. You're going to, uh, what I find is that because they don't have to concentrate on the paper and pencil, that they write more. Um, they're more comfortable with it. They also, uh, a lot of times for special ed students to look at the screen, then look back at the paper and look at the screen makes it difficult for them to copy. With the AlphaSmart, they can set the paper right next to them and not have to move their eyes so much. Uh, the co-writer also helps with the spelling. A lot of them have difficulty with spelling and being able to choose the correct spelling makes um, re proofreading a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Do you find the students eager to want to use the alpha smart when they do writing? Yes. In fact, there have been times when I say, get out a paper or pencil, we're going to do this. They'll say, can we do it on the alpha smart? Mm -hmm. The biggest thing with special ed students is getting them to elaborate. Mm -hmm. They tend to answer the question and that's it. With the alpha smart, I find that they'll, they'll keep adding more and they're less reluctant um, to go back and revise it mm -hmm. with the alpha smart. Ginger software is an advanced spell checker that is installed and works within Microsoft Word 2003 or 2007 and Microsoft Outlook. This spell checker has been designed with sophisticated algorithms to correct common spelling errors that students with dyslexia often tend to make. To use Ginger software, students will need to have access to a Windows-based PC and the Internet since it accesses a specialized online database to determine the spelling suggestions it makes. 
Kurzweil 3000 is one of the leading scan and read technologies to support students with reading disabilities. With built-in optical character recognition, teachers can scan material directly into Kurzweil 3000 and have it read using high-quality text-to-speech. Dr. Paul Sereno takes dinosaur bones. He gets a thrill when he takes up the bones of dinosaurs who lived thousands of years ago. Kurzweil 3000 allows teachers to open and convert PDF and Word files to give students access to these materials on the computer.